It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And we've got the two teams who met in Super Bowl 55. Who knows what we're in store for here? And it comes your way next on Matt NFL 25. It's the venue that's had plenty of success, come through it since the mid-2010s, as well as a few Lombardi trophies. It's GEHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. Thanks for joining us, everyone. With my partner, Brock Heward, I'm Kate Scott. And like so many matchups in the NFL, Brock, our focus goes right to the quarterbacks in this one. Both of these guys, players who've been around the league now for some time, they definitely established themselves as veterans who know how to win football games. Yeah, I think the word of the day, Kate, is definitely experience. Two yeah. guys who've been through the season several times over have seen a lot at this point in their career and been through quite a bit on the field. All that experience is stored up there right between the ears. <laughs> and the one who is more skilled at leveraging that experience more than likely is going to come away with the win. Set to go is the kicker, Harrison Butker. And we're off from Arrowhead. His return starts at the five. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. So here come the Buccaneers, ready for their opening drive. They're led out by the seventh-year pro, comeback player of the year contender last season in Baker Mayfield. There's just certain quarterbacks, the way they run on the field, you just say their name and just some adjectives and attributes pop up right away. For Baker Mayfield, scrappy, tough, a will to win. I'm not surprised at all to see himself back in the starting role. Not surprised at all to see him flourish. The dude is mentally tough, he's mentally strong, and he typically makes the most of his opportunities. Drive starts with a carry by White. And he's able to manage a couple on that run. Okay, that's a run that's whole hum on the stat sheet. But if you see a bigger play on the ground later on, it'll largely be because of a play just like that one, softening up the front and opening the door for a bigger gap in the future. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Again, this is White. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. Only a couple yards there, and now it's third and seven. Hey, we know running the ball in the NFL is hard, and that play pretty indicative of it. Here's the key, though. At the end of the game, those type of plays got to be in the minority, and the majority have got to do some damage. Third down. Here's Mayfield. On target to Godwin. Gets it to the 15. And they're going to take this to the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. The Buccaneers take a 6-0 lead right away. It's a Chris Godwin touchdown. He finds one of his great receivers, Brock, and they are off to a great start to begin this ball game. Yeah, it's such a positive offensively when you could go find not just a field goal, but a touchdown on that opening drive. And defensively, whew, this starts to shake the foundation of your preparation and makes you wonder what's in store. On is Chase McLaughlin for the point after. That one right down the middle. And they add one on to their first touchdown of the contest. McLaughlin has it on the team, and he's ready to send this fly. McCole Hardman now on the return. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. So here come the Chiefs, taking the field for their first drive of the game. Leading them out, fresh off a third Super Bowl title. The standard for quarterback excellence today, Patrick Mahomes. This guy, Mahomes. <laughs> How many defensive coordinators have uttered that? This guy, Mahomes. All he's done is raise the bar of quarterback greatness in this league. He led the Chiefs to their fourth Super Bowl in five years. And, Kate, this is what's remarkable to me. Just the sixth quarterback ever to win three of them, and he's still only in his eighth year in this league. Alone back to the backfield, and they give it to him. 
And he's brought down up across the 30-yard line. Give him a few yards on that run. It's second and seven. I think one thing you learn, Kate, when you transition from college to the NFL, not every run is going to be a big play. Some of them, well, they're just destined to end in a minimal gain, and some of them will set up that critical play action for later. They send one of the tight ends in motion right. He gets this one to Smith-Schuster. And he'll go down, and we'll say right at the 39-yard line. Eight yards on the gain, and the drive continues forward. That's just great instincts. Go air it out on second down rather than just play conservative and run it. They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. That pass is caught by Smith-Schuster. And he's going to be brought down at the 42. Well, that's a pretty similar result to a first down run play. Moves it forward. Keeps you on schedule, makes second and third down a whole lot easier to manage. Second down now, seven to go. Out of the gun, they'll give it to him inside. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. It's got to be so demoralizing as a defense when you go up against a running back who just keeps those legs churning like a piston in an engine. And that effort's contagious. This entire offense is getting a boost when he busts those tackles. Ball on the 45, first and 10. Another carry for him. And he'll get this down at the 33-yard line. It's a pickup of 11. And the Chiefs are gonna have a first down. Offensive coordinators tell us all the time, big runs only happen with coordinated efforts. Great block in the spring of guys hitting blocks downfield and a back who can show off his wheels. First and 10, it's Mahomes. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose, incomplete. See the pass, time up your hit, and jar that ball loose. Not a lot of players are hanging on through a well-placed hit like that one. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Operating from the gun. Here's Mahomes. Fires over the middle. Caught. And it's good yardage, but they tackle him short of the sticks. Part of the reason I leave you pregame, Kate, and get down to that field and watch these guys throw and catch is I want to see their timing. I want to see their anticipation. That is picture perfect right there. A crossing route thrown that quickly tells me these two are on the same page. Third and two, Mahomes to throw. Complete beyond the marker. And he's going to be stopped at the 17-yard line. That play goes for eight yards, and it keeps this drive moving. You know, they call that the money down for a reason, because you're just simply not going to last long in the NFL if you don't convert a good portion of your third downs. It's the money down. And nice to see them roll the dice and continue the series. They are now set for first and ten. From the red zone now. That finds Hunt complete. And he'll go down. Looks like they're marking him at the 11. The rookie from Georgia in on that tackle. That is the epitome of staying on schedule. That kind of completion right there on first down. Well, it opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down. And the third and short in your back pocket, you can get even more aggressive and take that shot. Back to the air, Mahomes. And it's caught. And he's able to get it to the two before the stop. A nice gain of eight there, and it brings them to first and goal. I'm sure coach and play caller doesn't mind making the job a little bit easier. You know, play calling's a lot simpler and easier when you count on the offense to move the chains on those early downs. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. They'll try and punch it in. And he runs this one in for the touchdown. The Chiefs finish off their opening drive. 
No doubt about that one, Brock. They soften that defense up with that lengthy opening series. And then the front just couldn't stand up to the run as they reached the end zone. Yeah, the numbers tell you, kind of just like baseball, you love home runs, you love explosive plays. But when you can play small ball, if you could keep that defense gasping on the field, you can often run it right down their throats in the red zone. That one splits the uprights. And we're all knotted up. Kick this one away. Starting from the five. They'll have decent field position to begin with here. Brock, he's tackled just beyond that 30-yard line. So the Buccaneer offense getting out there for their second drive. And after the impressive drive we just witnessed, you got to imagine that they are hoping to respond with something similar. Yeah, and I don't love to use the word can't, right? But this can't be a three and out for this offense right yeah, here. they got to yeah. give their defense a chance to catch a breath and turn some of the momentum in the building. Tight end in motion right. First and ten, it's a gift to right. And he drives that front backward on a gain of four. You know, this is an offense that will emphasize the ground game at different points of each and every contest. But as long as they can reliably get games like this, it's not going to change anytime soon. Second and six coming up here. Here's White again. And he's short of the first after a mild game. Give him five yards to bring up a manageable third and one. This is a guy who, man, when he is in a group, when he is feeling it, you're just not going to bring him down with an arm tackle. You better buckle up. You need a textbook tackle on this guy. Wrap, grab some cloth, and drive him to the ground with all you've got. Duke the defender. And he's officially in enemy territory now. They're going to give him the opposing 49. And that one goes for a gain of 11. And that's good for a Buccaneer first down. Win the early battle. Give them the leverage. Low man wins off the line, and that's all that was needed to ensure that first down right there. They run the counter with White. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few and got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. Back to the line they go. It's second down. Mayfield now from the gun. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he'll take it past the midfield stripe and start to push into Chiefs territory. He's just one of those guys, Kate. Even when he's not open, he's still a target thanks to that physicality and his ability to just play bully ball. They don't like forcing into coverage, but sometimes when you've got a bully like him that can create space, you just find a way to get him the ball. Finds his man. It's Godwin. A big 34-yard pickup there. And that's good enough for a Tampa first down. Speed kills, baby. You better make that tackle right away on these receivers or you're going to get some serious yak. Those yards after catch just like that. Take it a short gain and turn it into an explosive play. What a spot for a big play, huh, Brock? It has him well into the red zone now with first and ten. Out of the gun, White. And the plunge up the gut yields nothing there. No progress on first down, and that'll bring up second and ten. I know these DNs love to get to the quarterback. I know that sacks many times equals a bigger payday. But doing the dirty work, playing the run well, that's what the best of the ends do in this league. 
He's got it on the bootleg. And the cover just too good there. Didn't find the throw that he was confident in, so just throws it away. Third down coming up. Baker now from the gun. And they're going to take this to the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. The Buccaneers break the tie here in the first. Mike Evans with the touchdown. So, Brock, this offense starting to find its rhythm a bit as they finish things with a touchdown there to give them the lead. And the key word there that you said is finish because you want to have that mindset, even in early in the game, that field goals aren't going to cut it. So that's great work to make sure they finish with six points. McLaughlin, attack on the extra point. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. McLaughlin has it on the team, and he's ready to send this fly. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. And the return sets them up just beyond their own 20. Now for the second time, we get a look at this Kansas City offense. And I think they'd be content doing everything the same as their prior drive and getting another touchdown here. Get this drive started. First and ten. Lone back in the backfield, and he gets the handoff. And they are there to bring him to a halt at the 26. It's a four-yard pickup, and that's going to bring up second and six. You know, that's a good run right there. Keep the offense on schedule. If he can average that type of yards per carry, this guy's going to be more than all right with letting him lead the show. From the 26 on second down. That's worthy running the slant. And he'll get it out to the 34 before he's tracked down. Call it seven yards on the play, and that's enough for the first down. Time and again, receivers will tell their quarterbacks, just give me a chance. Just give me a chance. Just throw it up and give me the opportunity. Well, in this case, with even two defenders trying to cover that wide receiver, couldn't get it done. They'll run here on first down. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. It's a 23-yard pickup on the play, and it'll be first down Kansas City. You know, it is so refreshing for these running backs when they have space to run. It's hard. There's so many collisions between the tackles. When they get on the edge and have green grass, now the best of them take advantage of it. Four yard line now, first and ten. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Watson with the catch. And he's able to get this down to the 36. a good pickup. They're set up with second and short. They'll motion a tight end left. Out of the gun. It's Mahomes. Hauled in by Gray. They touch him down as he finds enough to pick up the first. 
Look up contested catch in the football dictionary, and you'll see that. I mean, I can't critique the defense there. They're in the hip pocket of that tight end. But these contested catches, these tight ends that can separate with their hands, utilize their body, even when you're covered, you're not. Mahomes on first and 10. An alert play defensively there. He got a hand on it to tip it away, and that makes it second down. Well, Kate, that wasn't a fast enough break for the interception, but it was good enough and a good enough break to break on the ball, get a finger on it, and foresee incompletion. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Another throw for Mahomes. Finds his man. It's worthy. And he'll be brought down here at the 23-yard line. Well, he saw his guys pick up the blitz. Well, he felt them pick it up anyway if he wasn't looking at them. But with their effort on his behalf, I think this QB felt owed to them. And the group up front to find somebody to get a completion so that effort up front wasn't in vain. Throwing again, Mahomes. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free, incomplete. As a defense, you got to see the pass. You got to time up your hit, and you got to jar that ball loose. Not a lot of offensive players are hanging on to that one through a well placed hit. So on fourth down, the Chiefs field goal unit and Harrison Butker headed out. From the left hash, a 40 yard look. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And it's dropped back down now to a four-point game. A dependable kicker, man. That is a coach's best friend. Saves him so much stress to have a guy he can really trust to go out and hit it from that distance consistently. Because from that far out, no kick is a guarantee. We've got a good one here. They've cut the lead to four as they send it away. Bucky Irving now to return. His return reaches that 34-yard line before he stopped. The Buccaneers, then receiver Chris Godwin getting set for another go. And we'll see if the perfect start can continue as they try for their third touchdown in three drives. First and 10 from the 34. Sending the tight end in motion left. They'll begin with a quick completion to the right side. And he's going to get this up close to the 40 before going out. There's no negatives ever on a great sheet for a completion, but that's one of those situations. If you're going to take a risk at throwing out route, you'd sure like to see a little bit more yardage gained. Halfway to the marker, it's second and five. Play fake, it's Mayfield. That's going to be cut by Evans. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. They get 28 out of that play. And that's good for a Buccaneer first down. I think my favorite part was the magic he worked after the catch. The way he took the completion and made so much more out of it by adding all the extra yardage. Ball at the 33 for first down. Try the right side with White. And he's got a decent gain before being brought down. Halfway there on first down, that brings up second and five. That run's not going to turn many heads, but at the end of the year, I promise you, if you average over five yards a run, you're going to be a pro bowler. So before they get the snap away, we reach the end of the first quarter. 14-10, our score. Back to Arrowhead in just a moment. Back for the start of quarter number two. It's Buccaneers football as we begin. They have it second down well inside a field goal range. 
From the gun, Mayfield. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Timing is everything in life. And timing is everything defensively. That throw was just a little bit late and gave the defense time to close, deliver a pop, and knock that ball loose. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Pressure coming, Baker. He has the first over the middle. And he stopped just before he reaches the red zone at the 21. Eight yards on the gain, and the drive continues forward. That's what we call situational football. You spend all week working on your nickel passing game package to take advantage of third downs just like that. Godwin sent in motion right. First down, here's Baker. That's brought in by White. And they have this down to the 11 before being marked down. I know that completion doesn't move the chains. I love it nonetheless. You make sure that defense is aware of every eligible player going out. And this time it was out of the backfield with the running back that shows he's adept at catching it as well. Options are open here. It's second and inches. Baker throwing again. He's in trouble, and the Chiefs bring him down. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. This offense has been in a rhythm, settled in and found it in the first half. But hopefully that sack for this defense can disrupt that rhythm just a little bit. Kind of reminds me, Kate, in baseball, when you're facing an elite pitcher, just get somebody on base. Just make that pitcher think a little bit. Hopefully that sack for this defense does the same to the QB. They send a tight end in motion. Third down, here's Mayfield. This finds Evans, complete. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. You know, I, I like the completion. You never turn down a completion. That's just not the right throw to make in that spot to move the chains. Offense staying out there, it's fourth and one. this inside the 10 to the 9. They only needed a couple, and that is what they got. Not the most impressive game, but a big one as they get the first. <laughs> That's a pretty clear plan of attack by the back from the very start. Found the lane quickly, didn't hesitate, knew exactly what he needed to get to get past the marker. White on first and goal. And the ground game works for the touchdown. The Buccaneers now lead by 10. It's a Rashad White touchdown. They kept it on the ground as opposed to airing it out. And that time, well, Brock, the ground game paid off. Well, these great rushing attacks down here that could score rushing touchdowns, it takes the whole party getting involved. Yeah, the burst of the running back was tremendous. How about the launch of his blockers right off the line of scrimmage? That's a touchdown the entire way, and it took the entire group offensively. McLaughlin, attack on the extra point. That one splits the uprights, and they'll continue adding to their lead. McLaughlin has it on the team, and he's ready to send this fly. His return starts at the five. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. The Chiefs are returning their offense, and this running back to the field. And down double digits, Brock. Field goals like we saw in their last drive aren't going to move the needle as much as they need to.
the drive will start out with a first and ten. Operating from the gun, here's Mahomes. That one's incomplete. Had the connection, but some stone hands got in the way there. Well, that's a major missed opportunity for the offense. And a sigh of relief for the defense. And you got to adjust a little bit. Get some extra help on the back end of your defense to take those shots away. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Mahomes. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose. Incomplete. Just couldn't hang on through the contact. So they're left facing third and long. I think that was a throw, Kate, that just came a little bit too late. What it did is it gave that defense time to come up and deliver a pop and knock the ball loose before he could secure it fully. Third down, it's Mahomes. Flushed out of the pocket. He'll make a bid for it on the ground. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. A big play, 23 yards to move those chains. As long as these are the results he's getting, they're going to be just fine with him calling his own number. He does such a good job of seeing the field and knowing when it's his time to take it himself. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. Looking to throw Mahomes. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he'll cross the 50 and start pushing onto the opposing side of the field. Sometimes when you're just looking to move it forward, get some small yards on a throw, quarterback's best friend, security blanket. And when it's a big old tight end, that's an extra bonus. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. From the 47. Hauled in by Worthy. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. That pitch and catch won't show up as a big play on the stat sheet, but it gives his own defense a little time to rest. It gives an offensive coordinator a new set of downs to work with. New set of downs for him at the 38. Throwing on first down, Mahomes. He's on the move. He's going to tuck it and run. It's on the turf, the ball's out, he lost it. And the Buccaneers scoop it up. And they stop him before he gets much on the return. Man, that run was looking so good for him. But you'll see QBs don't always tuck it away like running backs do. That was loose, ball away from his body, in a prime position to be knocked free. That's exactly what happens once that defender catches him downfield. The Buccaneers and Rashad White ready to take over once again. And eventually, Brock, one of their drives is going to fail to reach that end zone. But through three possessions so far, they have been perfect. Yeah, and in order for that to happen, somebody somewhere on this defense has got to rise to the occasion. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. The give now to White. And he'll have it up to about the 23-yard line on the play. Manages just a yard on first down. Now it's going to be second and nine. You know, they got some positive yards. That's a good thing. But too many plays like that, it just is too hard to pile together, get first downs, it gets the better defenses in this league. Mayfield now from the gun. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. Well, that's a modest little drag route, but if you ever just need a safe, short gain on the throw, that's a go-to route to target. Third and four coming up now. Motioning the tight end now. Baker now off to play fake. Complete beyond the marker. And they can't jump to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. A big play, 23 yards to move those chains. From a great throw to a nice route and catch to moving the chains. There wasn't a whole lot not to like about that amazing play. First and 10, ball set up at the 48.
A tight end in motion now. It's White on the give. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. This is one of those situations, Kate, where I watch the body language of the running back because it'd be very easy for him to raise his hands up, look to the sideline in his O-line and go, what am I supposed to do there? There was nothing, no time at all to try and escape and react. Instead, it goes backwards. Second and 13. Splits a couple of defenders and completes it. And he's going to be brought down after reaching the 43. Well, the odds aren't great when you throw into double coverage. Normally, you see one of the defenders make a play on the ball. Two men nearby, and that's a missed opportunity for the coverage to make an impact play. Extra man in the secondary now for the Chiefs on third down. Shotgun snap for Mayfield. That's caught for the first. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. A big play, 23 yards to move those chains. I'm not sure how this defense let that guy slip through him like that. On third down, nonetheless, he took that snap as an opportunity, and man, did he make an impact play. They'll keep this drive moving and come to the line for first and ten. Up the middle, here goes White. And a couple of teammates combining there for the stop after just one yard. You know, not a ton of yards, but still showing that commitment to the ground game. The type of run that keeps the defense from loading up in coverage and focusing entirely on that passing game. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Got Evans, it's complete. And they make the stop as that play reaches the 14-yard line. Chiefs in a nickel set for this third down call. Mayfield now, blitz coming. This ball's cut by Palmer. And they're going to get this down to the four before being stopped. It's a double-digit gain, 10 yards, and now they've got first and goal. You're not going to last long in the National Football League if you don't convert a good chunk of your third downs. Nice find there to continue the series. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. Baker now from the gun. And it's caught. And they're going to take this to the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. The Buccaneers grow their lead off the turnover. It is a word broadcasters hesitate to use for a lot of reasons, but four touchdowns in four drives, Brock. I think we can throw it out here. Perfection thus far. Yeah, this game will humble you at this level. I mean, this is the best of the best play in it, and you don't normally see this kind of execution and this kind of efficiency, so I understand that word perfection. I will remind everybody, though, it's not how you start. It's how you finish. McLaughlin, attack on the extra point. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. McLaughlin has it on the team, and he's ready to send this fly. Return coming from the six. He's got a lane up past the 30. And he gets across the 30 before he's brought down. The Chiefs back out on offense. They're running back, headed out once again. They watch their fumble turn into points, so feeling maybe a little bit of an urge to make up for that now in this series. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Out 
got his shotgun. They'll give it to him inside. And he's going to get up to about the 33, but no more. Two on the pickup there, and it's going to be second and eight. Out of the gun, it's Mahomes. He's got Watson. And he has it up towards midfield before he's taken down at the 47. It's a pickup of 14 yards as the chains reset. Move the chains! Gotta move them chains! Build momentum and keep that defense on its heels. Football on that 47-yard line, first down. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Bails out of the pocket quick. They'll get 14 yards and a new set of downs. You know, these are the type of plays that really get an offense going. This is a chance for QB to inspire the guys around him, calling his own number, carrying his teammates to a first down on that big run. That inflates an offense, and it can suck the wind out of that defense. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's going to be brought down at the 35-yard line. Every once in a while, it's fine to be conservative on first down, especially when you get enough to stay on schedule and get a little something coming out of it, too. Second down now, seven to go. Play action, Mahomes. Kelsey makes the catch. And he'll be just inside the 10 before he goes out. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets them up with first and goal. You know, Kate, you'll find teams go to this crossing route concept sometimes a dozen times a game. A lot of times it's for shorter yardage, but sometimes things break in the right coverage for a much bigger impact play, just like that. We're to the two-minute warning from Arrowhead. The Chiefs in need of some points before the break. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. Motioning one of the tight ends. Now it's Mahomes. It's caught. And this one stopped at the three-yard line. Quarterbacks will look for their tight end short in just about any situation. They take away the deeper options. Well, there's their consistent source of positive yardage, the trusty tight end. It's second and goal. Back to the air, Mahomes. And they will score. Touchdown, Kansas City. The Chiefs chop some of the lead off before the half. Travis Kelsey, the touchdown. Wow, just fantastic work there. Tiptoeing along the back line. The concentration was there. Great catch for six. Yeah, the concentration and the body control. I don't know how these receivers do it in this day and age. There's no space to work with, yet they have such an awareness to secure it first, to tap dance the line, and go get that touchdown. But Kerr to try the point after. That one splits the uprights. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. Butker on now to kick this one away. Has this at the six. He's brought down at what looks like the 24-yard line. 
The Buccaneers send receiver Mike Evans headed back out. And he finds himself across an important benchmark for yards this season after that last drive. He stayed pretty busy this season, and the numbers show just that. They're out and set. First and ten. From the gun, Mayfield. Able to hit Palmer, complete. And he's short of the first after a mild game. That's what you call efficiency. Exactly what you're looking for in first down. Textbook. It sets up second and very manageable, and it creates that space if you want to take a shot downfield. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Got a man, Palmer has it. And he's gonna be brought down at the 42. Timeout taken by the Buccaneers, they're first. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. They'll head up first and 10 from the 42. Here's Baker to throw. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. Gonna have to wait a little longer for his first catch of the game. And it's gonna be second down. Can't cover it much better than that really well-covered feed on that play. There just simply was not a window for him to sneak that throw in. Mayfield to throw again. And he doesn't see a window he likes, so he just got rid of that one. And it brings up third down. Baker throwing again. That's going to be caught by Evans. And he's officially in enemy territory now. They're going to give him the opposing 49. I know on the stat sheet, Kate, that shows up as passing yards, but any defensive coordinator will take it. Understanding down and distance and keeping that offense short of the sticks. Bucks ready to send it away on fourth as Jake Camarda runs on to punt it. Now this one, not much of a chance of it staying in the field of play. They'll mark it out at the 13-yard line. We've reached the break. The Bucks visitors, but fighting out to an early advantage. Now we'll send you south to our Orlando studios for the EA Sports Halftime Reports with Jonathan Coachman. Okay, Coach.